Do you want to find the best keycaps for your keyboard and turn it from looking like this to this? I have five of what I think are the best looking keycap sets coming up right after this. Before this video starts, make sure to join my Discord server. There are lots of cool people there and I'm in there pretty much every day, so click the link in the description to join. Also I already have a video of some other keycaps, so make sure to check out that video as well. That video has some more cheaper options and not really any that are very expensive. In this video I'll have some that are cheaper, but mostly they're going to cost a little bit more than the other video. So I'm going to be putting these on the RK61 and Pro 2, GK61, Razer Huntsman Mini, and the Drop Alt, but they will work with pretty much any standard keyboard layout. Before we start, you want to take off your keycaps that are already on your keyboard. Most keycap sets come with these plastic pullers, but they sometimes damage the keycaps, so I recommend using a wire keycap puller. Once you have all the keycaps off, you can start putting on your brand new ones. For the Huntsman Mini, they have these weird stabilizers that you have to pull off the default keycaps and put on the new ones, but once you do that, you can pretty much use any Cherry MX compatible set. Let's start off with the PG PBT Bluebird keycap set. They are PBT keycaps of course, and they are PG slash MP profile, meaning that they are flat with rounded edges. This keycap set looks super nice on this nice white case of the Razer Huntsman Mini and just overall looks really clean. This set cost around $50 US on KBD fans which is actually pretty cheap for how good of quality this set is. It has really thick plastic which makes it feel really high quality. It comes with 87 keys so it will work up to a TKL size keyboard plus it comes with 21 extra keys. So if you have a smaller shift key like the drop alt does, it will still work for it. It also has a larger 7 unit spacebar and a few more extra keys that you can see here. Here is it compared to the default keys that come on the Razer Huntsman Mini. The next set is the cheapest coming in at around $30 US on mechanicalkeyboards.com. They are called the Taiho Greek Blues. These are ABS plastic so they aren't quite as high quality as the rest and may wear down over time, but these are the only backlit keycaps I have here. Speaking of the backlighting, it is really good and doesn't bleed at all and is really bright. This comes with 104 keys so it will work with a full size keyboard. Here is it on the Ant Pro 2 compared to the default keys that come on it. Next we have the PBT Chalk keycap set. I got the SA Profile version and the Cherry Profile set. The SA Profile is a lot taller than the Cherry Profile set, which is one of the lowest profiles, while the SA is like one of the tallest profiles. I just put on the SA set and not the Cherry Profile set as they are the same look and I didn't have another keyboard to put them on, but as I said they look the same, they are just a lot slimmer. The SA version costs more at $75 US while the Cherry Profile version only cost $50. Both are on KBD fans though. I recommend getting the Cherry Profile version as most people like them better for gaming and typing since they are so low profile. Although the SA version comes with 158 keys and the Cherry Profile comes with only 124 keys, they will both work with up to a full size keyboard. Here's the SA version on the Geek GK61 compared to the default keys. Now we move on to the more expensive sets, the Enjoy PBT Die Subbed keycap set. This is the Sushi Japanese one. This comes in at $90 US on KBD fans. It has 117 keys which will work for a full size keyboard and it is cherry profile. It has these sort of brownish gray keys on the outside of the keyboard which you wouldn't think would look good, but it somehow does and the off-white keys on the main ones look super good on the RK61. Even though these keycaps cost more than the keyboard itself, they are a huge improvement from the ABS plastic on the default keycaps as they are thick PBD plastic and look really good. Here is it compared to the default keycaps on the RK61. Finally is a very similar set to the previous ones, the Sushi Japanese keycap set, although this one is all white with no different colors around the outside of the keyboard. 
This set cost a bit more than the other one at around $100 US on KBD fans and it is also Cherry Profile. I have been using this set on my Drop Alt which is my main keyboard and they are super nice and are my favorite out of all of them that I have showed today. Even though they are not backlit keycaps they still look really good with the RGB on the Drop Alt. I usually keep it on this half light blue and half pink colorway which goes perfect with the colors on the keycap set as well as the color theme for my setup. Here is it compared to the default keycaps on the Drop Alt. Overall, my tips for buying keycaps are picking a set that goes good with your setup and the color theme that you are going for, and just make sure that you like the overall look of the keycaps before you buy it, because why would you want a keycap set that you don't even like looking at? Make sure the set will fit your keyboard before you buy it. I made a mistake of not looking at the layout of this set before buying, and it doesn't fit at all on my Ducky 1 2 Mini. So I'm gonna have to go back to the default keycaps on that. But I did make the mistake on that. Good thing this keycap set did not cost a whole lot. But if it was a more expensive set and it didn't fit, I would be out all that money. So don't make the same mistake as me and make sure you check that it will fit the layout of your keyboard. And please don't call me an idiot in the comments. I already feel like an idiot. If you want your RGB to shine through, make sure it says backlit somewhere on the page. When I was a keyboard noob, which I still am, I thought that backlit was double shot or double shot was backlit. Either way, that's not true. Just look for it to say backlit somewhere on the page. Also, I recommend getting PBT keycaps as they last a lot longer than ABS plastic. And finally for keycaps, it is usually the more you spend, the better quality you get. But to make sure, try looking up reviews for the set before you end up buying them. So those are pretty much all of the tips I wish I knew before I started buying keycaps. So which set was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to join my Discord channel from the link below to talk to me and discuss anything with the cool people in there. And I'll see you guys next time.